Braves. The Braves are going to go with uh, Jack Kyle. He's, uh, he's a pretty efficient pitcher. This should uh, maybe come down to a pitcher's duel in the end here. Probably a low-scoring game if, if these guys uh, perform well. And the defense is set for the Braves. It'll be Eddie Podzemny, Charlie Loeb, and Matthew Brohl in the outfield left to right. Nick Bennett, Houston Cruz, Dave Dooley, and Wesley Janung, the infield third to first. Warren Dooley behind the plate, and as you mentioned, Jack Kyle on the hill for the Braves. Now I'm hearing audio. I don't know why we didn't have audio early on. Been that kind of day. Technology hates this day. <laughs> So the Braves down in order, actually not down in order. Jack Kyle got on board with a leadoff walk, left stranded at third. Dooley, Cruz, and Janung striking out to retire the side. Braves came in, the regular season champion, with a regular season mark of 12-2. And, and the Marlins finished in fifth with a regular season mark of 7-7. Seven and, seven. and just to recap, the Marlins coming through the winner's bracket. As they defeated the Yankees, the Giants, and the Astros to get here. Braves falling to the Giants in their first game. Bounced back to come through the loser's bracket, defeating the Yankees, the Padres, the Giants, and the Astros to set up this championship game as Brian Knowles, the second baseman, stepping in to lead it off. Down low, ball one. Misses outside, 2-0. and oh. Two balls, no strikes to Knowles. Pitch one hops up to the plate, 3-0. Oh. Taken all the way, that's in the first strike, 3-1. and one. Sometimes that first strike is the hardest one to get. Three one pitch. Down low ball four, Knowles draws the leadoff walk. So just like we saw on the top of the first inning, the bottom of the first leadoff hitter gets aboard for a walk, with a walk. Is Grant Sprandio coming in? Yes, sir. Sprandio, the starting pitcher, trying to help his own cause out here. Steps out with nobody up, or nobody out, runner at first base here in the bottom of the first inning. Grant Sprandio, if he gets a hold of this one, he could... Uh he can do some damage here. This is a uh, really strong 12th grader right here. And yeah, check swing foul. Back to the screen, strike one. Crazy. Look at the flag across the street, and it's blowing straight out. Look at the flag in center field, and it's barely moving. Yep. Toss over to first. Pretty good move. Runner dives back. Oh, one pitch. Now five ball one. One ball, one strike. That's a good looking off speed in there for strike one and two. It's funny after watching the Kiwis, these guys seem like giants now. <laughs> there goes the runner on the one two pitch. Down low and no throw. Stole the base for Knowles. Got a great jump, had a good pitch to go on too. Feels like the wind's picking up quite a bit from our south. Uh, I know we're expecting some weather next uh, couple days, so. Maybe this is early sign. Yeah, hopefully we can get these games in tonight. Oh, I hear you. I think we'll be okay tonight with the weather. Yeah.
Two balls, two strikes to Grant Sprandio. 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 I'm not making it too hard on myself. It's, it, 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 it took me a couple years to figure that one out, too. Misses outside, and the count goes full. A lot of discipline when that uh, ball's coming in there at 70 right. miles an hour. Full count, Knowles at second. Oh. That ball hit hard to left field, pretty well tagged, but right into the waiting clutches of the left fielder, Eddie Pazemny. That was a great hit by Grant. Just Pazemny took 10 foot, 10 steps, yeah. and it <laughs> was, that was it. So it's going to bring up Scout Sinkowitz. This guy, uh, this guy can slug too. This he's an eighth grader, and uh, he uh, he was at the hat ceremony earlier today. One out runner at second. Pitch down low, ball one. Swung on, fouled out of plate on the right side. Something we noticed at the Pee Wee field. I'm not sure if our cameras pick it up here, but there's a pretty good slope off the infield. It really kind of drops off into the outfield here at this ballpark. Yeah. This uh, squibber right side. Pitcher's going to take it over to first. Runner moves up to third, but Kyle over to Janung for out number one, and Knowles moves over to third with two away. In, uh, in right field behind uh, second base, first base, not so much here, but on third base, yes, it does taper down a little bit. So two outs runner at third for Case Crenshaw, the catcher for the Marlins. That pitch in the call, strike one. Case Crenshaw just uh, moved uh, from Beaumont uh, this year. Oh, wow. Moved to Beaumont, uh, moved from Beaumont to Houston. Swung on, good cut, follows it back, and the count quickly 0 oh 2 to the Marlin catcher. <laughs> 0 2 the count. Marlin's trying to break out on top early. They're not going to, and they're called strike three, and just like we saw in the top of the first inning, runner gets to third base, and that's it. We play through one, we'll go to the second. No score. Identical innings there. Yeah. It was just a just good pitching. Both pitchers give up a walk. One strikeout by one, three strikeouts by the other. But the main main thing is the goose egg stays on the scoreboard. Right. So it'll be five, six, and seven hitters do up here for the Braves. It'll be Charlie Loeb, Nick Bennett, and Matthew Brolin. We'll give you the batting order again since we didn't have audio on the top of the first inning. Jack Kyle, the starting pitcher, let it off. He walked. Warren Dooley, a strikeout victim behind the plate, batted second. Houston Cruz, a shortstop, struck out, batting third. And Wesley Janung, the first baseman, struck out, uh, playing over at first base. So it'll be Charlie Loeb, the center fielder, to lead it off, batting fifth. Nick Bennett at third base, batting sixth. Matthew Brolin, the right fielder, batting seventh. Eddie Podzemny, the left fielder, batting eighth. And Dave Dooley, the second baseman, batting ninth for the Braves. Defensively for the Marlins, once again, for McC uh, McCanley, Ryan Mira, and Wiley Ward, the outfield left to right. Scout Sinkowitz, Ross Wynn, Bryson Knowles, and Ben Fuqua, the infield third to first. Case, Case Pinshaw behind the plate, and Grant Sparandia. 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 Gonna gonna, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. My game's over. I have yeah. it down. <laughs> and uh, also, if they didn't catch, uh, catch it earlier as well, uh, the Marlins are remain in the winner's bracket. Having come through right. the the uh, Astros most recently, and the Braves uh, knocked off the Giants to get here, uh, still in the loser bracket. So right. the Braves need to win this game to stay alive. Yeah, they win that. Uh, if the Braves win, we'll play game two about 20, 30 minutes after the end of game number one. If the Marlins win, they are the champion of the Juniors League for 2021. I like the double elimination tournaments. Baseball is one of those games where one game is just not enough. Oh, uh, it's it, and you know running through the the winners bracket is it, you, you got kind of a, you just got to win three or yeah. four games. Losers bracket, man, you got to work slog. really hard. Yeah. So to make it here in a losers bracket is is is, yeah. a, is a feat in itself. So here's Charlie Loeb, the center fielder, lit it off here for the Braves in a scoreless game, top of the second. Pitch high inside, ball one. 
Merle Bertrand, Michael Heron, Gentry Williams, our producer, Nathan Jr. is back at the Vibe Life Studios, keeping an eye on an ear on things. Thanks to him for giving up his Saturday for us today. You know, I wish we had some uh, batting averages on these guys, uh, some sort of stats. We uh, requested that from the coaches, yeah. but uh, these coaches uh, just graduated college. Most of them, um, you know, have jobs, and right. uh, this is uh, this is just a fun deal for them. These aren't these aren't the dads like the minors and the majors and the peewees where, you know, they're pumping up these kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these guys are out here for fun of it. Three and zero to load. Taking all the way in there for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Good pitch by Grant. Swing and a miss. Well, maybe a ball four there. Kind of hard to see from this angle, but almost looked like a self-defense swing. Yeah, it looked very self-defense. Um, he, he stepped out, so. The count is full to low to lead off the second. And swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number four for Sprandio. Four straight strikeouts. Now you're getting close. Getting closer. You're getting closer. Sprandio. <laughs> and that'll bring up Nick Bennett, third baseman, with one out. Nick Bennett's got a uh, brother playing in the Majors Championship, coming up from the loser's bracket on the Astros. Say hello to Enrique Rodriguez, our producer for the Miners game that just got done. He'll be the producer for the Majors game coming up at 7 o'clock. There's been some good baseball out here today. Yes, there has. <laughs> one ball, one strike to Bennett. Swing and a miss, strike two. Well, Enrique and Gentry and Justin Barbosa, they've been all over the city and beyond this, this school year for us. Is that right? It's been crazy. Hey, that's a good thing. It is a good thing. Oh, that's a good thing. 1-2 pitch. Just missed outside, ball two. Two and two the count to Bennett. I think Grant's going to need to get a new hat. His hat keeps falling off after every <laughs> other pitch. You see that? Yeah. 2-2. Two and two. Way up high, ball three. Now, if he's a real baseball player, he won't let you touch that hat with a 10-foot pole. That's probably <laughs> his lucky hat. <laughs> right, right, right. He's a real baseball player. I know he plays off-season, uh, does select baseball. Um, this kid's going to go go places for sure. 3-2 pitch. Up high, ball four, and Bennett draws a one-out walk. Well, we've seen this one before. Yep. And that'll bring up Matthew Brohl in the right fielder with one out and one aboard. I forget which team it is in the majors. I think it's the Astros. Got an email that they haven't washed the uniform since the start of the season. Ooh, Speaking of weird superstitions. Wow, stations, that, yeah, that's. Does this work? That's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> kind of gross, but, uh, <laughs> you know, if it got them to the playoffs and in, uh, in the championship game, I guess whatever works, right? I, I'd remove the word kind of. That is gross. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they weren't playing hard enough. That could be, yeah. Huh? I don't see mom letting that go. <laughs> yeah, conference is over. We'll get back to it here with Bennett. A board at first base, one out. Matthew Brolin stepping in for the first time. Baseball is a game of superstition. Toss over to first. And I think uh, low may have... Or, I mean, uh, Bennett may have kept that ball from going back to the fence by with, with his body there. Yeah, it looked like it caught him out, uh, right underneath the armpit. Nick Bennett's fast. He is a uh, he, he's a fast runner. I wouldn't be surprised to see him uh, take second here. Lights are on here at the ballpark. With the clouds rolling in. Pitch misses outside. Two balls, no strikes. That pitch caught, catches there, the inside corner, strike one. And, yeah, kind of a delayed steal, and he beats the throw down. Nice throw there by Crenshaw. 
to even make that one close. I didn't think that had a chance. But Bennett at second base, two balls and a strike, and out of Brolin. Good pitch there. Fights back and evens up the count, two and two. Two two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Strikeout number five. That's a strikeout to two outs now two for outs. Eddie Podzimny with a runner at second. Inside Nine. corner, strike one. Yeah, we're going to have to get them to move. I was picking them up. Yeah. Pitch up high, ball one. One ball, one strike to Podzimny. Podzimny is a uh, brother on the team. we got brothers. Charlie, uh, one of the reserves for the Braves. Yep. Swing and a miss, strike two. Sprondio is one strike away from striking out the side for a second time. And he does it. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number six. Six outs in the ballgame, all by strikeout. Yeah, it's 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 wow. gonna, it's gonna be a pitcher's duel for sure. Yep. So we have played through one and a half. We'll go to the bottom half of the second inning, still scoreless, and the Marlins will send up their five, six, and seven hitters. Ryan Mira. Ben Fuqua and Wiley Ward, the right field to do up here for the Marlins. Now I've seen Ryan Mira hit. He is uh, he's a slugger. So maybe we see some uh, some some men on base here with some hits. And we saw Sperandio pretty get a pretty good charge into one, but hit it right to the left fielder of the uh, of the Braves. I'm gonna log into the app here and. Uh, Maybe kind of tell you where some of these kids go to school and maybe uh, there you go. get a little color on these guys. <laughs> Ryan Muir, he's in eighth grade, goes to T.H. Rogers right here. Right here. Right here, yes. Talk about a home field advantage. Yeah, exactly. Such a cool complex. Four ballparks here, different, slightly different sizes and different configurations for the different leagues. Yep. Well maintained. Shout out to our uh, field crew, Kevin Kushina and uh, uh, Dooley's for, right. for helping maintain all these fields the way they do. It's, you know, it's uh, it's not easy in the city of Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Christian O'Neill joined us in the Pee Wee game talking about how they got 21 teams playing all on that field this year, that Pee Wee field. The so Miners had 22, 22 teams. 22, yeah. But the Miners had two teams, uh, two fields to play on, but they had to share it with the Majors. All right, right. That ball okay. popped up in the foul territory and making the play is the first baseman. Janung right yes. under it. So one away. Mira's retired. That'll bring up Ben Fuqua. Ben, ben Fuqua is one of the uh, younger guys, too. So this uh, this Marlin team, like I said earlier, so this is a young team. Um, the Braves, a lot of eighth graders on this team. So it's, uh, you know, the, the young guys versus the old guys. So we'll, we'll <laughs> see who wins here. A one pitch. Just misses inside. Ball one. One ball, one strike to the Marlin first baseman. That's in the first strike, and the count one and two. Swung on foul. That was an interesting little foot shuffle there from Jack Kyle, the starting pitcher. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that before. I don't know if it was an accident or if he's been doing that the whole time. 
He didn't do it that time. It's almost like he kind of... Wait, who, who's that, Jack? Jack Kyle. He kind of skidded I, off the pitcher's mound as he threw that last pitch. I didn't see that. Wiley Ward's at bat. He's a uh, seventh grader at Lanier. That's the uh, that's the color I got on him right now. <laughs> so Wiley's going to have one more year out here. Counts at three and two. Three, this actually been Fuqua still batting. This is this is Fuqua. Yep. Man, I'm way off. Number yeah, number eight. That's cool, boy. Yeah, I thought that was ball four. He just kind of stood up there, so. Fuqua draws a one-out walk, and now Wiley Ward will step in. Now Wiley Ward. Well, anyways, Fuqua is sixth grader from Spring Branch Middle. <laughs> <laughs> one-out, one aboard. So I will have to say, both these games... Uh, both these teams played some really tight games to get to this position. So it was uh they didn't they didn't destroy anybody or you know run up the score on anybody. They right. they both these teams worked really hard to get right here. On one pitch swung out, lifted, fouled on the third base side out of play in the count 0 and two. So they're used to the pressure pack situations. Yes they are. Yes they are. And uh, the important thing for both coaches here, they gotta uh, think about that pitch count. Yeah. Pitch count, very important. What is it at this league? Uh, they can go 95. 95, okay. I believe it's – is it 95? Popped up on the infield and caught by the first baseman once again, Wesley Janung for out number two. So two outs now for Ford McCall to the left field. The runner still at first base. Ford's a seventh grader at St. Anne's. Younger and younger. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, this they're Marlins they're team, they, they, they have very few eighth. I know Scout Sinkowitz is in eighth grade. He's gone after this year. Um, I, I believe Mira is in eighth grade. And then for a strike to McCauley, strike one. The crowd's starting to gather. Yeah. Took a while to come over from uh, that earlier game. Had to hit the concession stand first. Yeah, exactly. 1-1 one, one to McCauley. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up with that one in the count 1-2. and two. One ball, two strikes, two away. Swing and a miss, strike three. Now strikeout number two, recorder for Jack Kyle. We have played through two, we will go to the third, still scoreless. You called it, pitcher's duel. Yeah, it's a pitcher's duel. It uh, looks very efficient out there for both pitchers. Um, I'm not keeping pitch count, but uh, I want to imagine uh, both these guys could probably go at least to the fifth or sixth inning right now. I can tally it up here, let me see. Uh, let's see, four, seven, eight. This would be pretty unofficial, but four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm sure this is riveting radio right here. <laughs> Everybody enjoying you uh, counting? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I have got... By the way, this is my first time on radio. Um, Doing but, great. Yeah, oh, well, thank you. I, I wish I had, like, a cheat sheet or something, like the majors, <laughs> like right? the minors and the peewees had. I, I, You know, I'm pretty talkative. Shane didn't ask me to do this for nothing, right? right? So he said, man, you know these guys on the juniors. I said, like, well, I, I kind of really don't. <laughs> you know, I, I, I watch, but I don't pay much attention, and as my wife would say, I don't remember anything. Right? So... <laughs> I'll, I'll do what I can. I go, Shane, without a cheat sheet, uh, you got me. I got 37 pitches for Jack Kyle unofficially through the first two innings of work. And I'll tally up here for Mr. Sperandio. It, it's probably, I, I'm going to guess, in the same ballpark. No pun intended. Right. <laughs> Two 
By the way, this game will not be timed. It's going to go seven innings as the uh, oh seven not all six. the juniors okay. all the juniors games go seven innings. Okay. This will be a untimed game. You know, when you throw in a clock with the umps and uh, just kind of yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of questions involved with it. So I believe I believe this game will go a full seven innings. All right, I will text the commissioner and verify that for sure. And I've got 44 pitches unofficially for Sperandio. Who starts his third inning work facing off against Day Dooley in the count one ball, one strike. Spins him off the plate in the count now two and one. I'm glad you corrected me. I was thinking it was six, but I remember now that the these two divisions play seven. Yes. Nope. Majors are still at six. A oh, majors are six, that's right. Majors are still at six. So two and two now to Dooley. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number seven, and back to the top of the order will go to Jack Kyle, who drew a leadoff walk back in the first inning. I just got a text from my sister said I'm doing a great job. There you they, go. Uh, they have a uh, a player in the juniors, but they cannot make it tonight because uh, they have a cotillion for one of their older children. Oh wow! So apparently she can hear me and she's listening and. I'm, I'm passing my sister's litmus test. I was going to say, if you get nice things said from your sister, that's a good sign. Yeah, exactly. Well, she loves me. I love <laughs> you too, Jane. Strike one to Jack Kyle. Pitcher for the Marlins. Comes up here with one out, bases empty. Got a piece of it, and the count 0-2. We'll point out there's no, uh, no position changes at this point in game, so... You got what you got, right? You got what you got. You know, we're rolling in the third inning. If uh, if, if, if a pitcher, uh, a, a catcher is going to be in lineup for pitching, right. they will pull the, the catcher. Oh, okay. One and two the count. Crowd didn't seem to like that one, but uh, the counts as a strike. One, two pitch. Check the swing, go strike three. They'll have to complete the throw down to first. Bit of a high throw, but they did. The put out. And another strikeout. That's number eight. You didn't count those pitches up for Grant, did you? With that? Did you count the pitches up for Grant? Yeah. I had them at 44 coming into this inning. Ah, oh, good. And this will bring up Warren Dooley with two outs, bases empty. Warren Dooley is a very dangerous hitter. He's a uh, he's a he's a southpaw, so he could. Ooh, ooh. Well, took one for the team right there. Hit by pitch. Yeah, he did. Third straight inning that the that, Braves have gotten a base runner. That might not be such a bad thing with Warren at the bat. <laughs> As Houston Cruz will step in here with two outs and a runner at first. I didn't get any stats, like I said earlier, but uh, I would be willing to bet Warren Dooley was betting, uh, batting 400-plus. Uh, he, he's He's got great hand-eye coordination. And yeah, that pitch one hops back to the backstop, and that's going to allow Dooley to move up to second base. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a uh, little talk with our pitcher, Grant, here. Isn't it funny how you can just be in the groove and all of a sudden it's like somebody flips a switch and it goes away for a while. I was just thinking the same thing with the uh, the fact that you can throw a bunch of bad pitches and a little coach's talk can change everything. Exactly, yeah. You know, just totally opposite. Right. It's like, hey man, calm down, you know, think about dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is your girlfriend in the stands? What's up? I'm like, <laughs> come on, let's, let's, uh, let's throw some pitches. All right, I got you, coach. Watch it. He just needs one out. Yep. So it's one ball, one strike here to Houston Cruz. Swung on, pop fouled on the third and first base side and drifting out of play. So he's one strike away from striking out the side for a third straight inning. 
And I got confirmation from the commission. Yes, we are going seven, in seven innings, no time. All right, there you go. One and two to Cruz. Swing. Oh, he just got a piece of it. Just hung alive. Houston Cruz is uh, one of our eighth graders yet on the uh, Braves, and he's a Kincaid kid. He's got several Kincaid kids out here. I know the Dooleys go to Kincaid as well. There goes the runner off second. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strike Ooh. him out again. That was a nice cut. Grant just blew it by him, didn't yep. he? Nine outs recorded in the ball game, all by strikeout, and we will go to the bottom half of the third inning, still scoreless here. This is about how the uh, Miners game played out. I don't know if you saw that. It was scoreless through four innings. Right. And then, and then, uh, and then the uh, bats woke up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that brings them up to 56 pitches unofficially. That's pretty efficient right there. Yeah, 59, sorry, 59. University of Texas math bite me. <laughs> so for the Marlins here in the bottom half of the third inning, going to be nine, one, and two hitters due up. Ross win, and back to the top of the order will go. Who's going to crack first? That's kind of what it's coming down to right it, now. It, it's who's going to break first. Um, you know, if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, um, I'm going to have to say the Braves are going to put a run or two on the board, but the Marlins aren't going to go uh, undefeated. They're, they're, they're going to hang several more runs after that. That's my wife standing there. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yes, I'm being. <laughs> My wife checking, making sure I'm uh, all good. I, I, I'm, I'm trying, honey. I got no color. I'm going to blame it on Shane. <laughs> So we're starting to get a little crowd gathering out there on the uh, third base uh, outfield line behind left uh, left field. Everybody's seeing it's uh, not a blowout just yet. Right. Uh, I know the Braves. Um, Braves can hang some runs. They, uh, if you look for runs for and against, mm -hmm. uh, I think Braves probably lead the league in runs for. Um, I Marlins have kept most games pretty tight. Um, it's, it's going to be an uphill battle for the Braves for sure. They do like to hit, but with Grant on the mound, it's uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult. He's, he's got them all balanced so far. Nine strikeouts. Right, right. So Ross Wynn at shortstop stepping in here to lead it off in the bottom of the third inning. You know it's a serious game because you've got four umpires. Yes, yes. So the uh, regular season, you have two. Right. Um, playoffs, you'll have three. three. And then uh, they bring in the uh, extra. No, there's, yes, there's four. Yep. So they'll bring in the extras for uh, a championship game. Why not, right? Why not? That's right. Break out all the stops. <laughs> Jack Kyle still on the mound. 37 pitches unofficially. He struck out two, walked two. Neither pitcher has given up a hit so far. That's uh, through through three innings. That's yeah. That's good pitching right there. So here's Win from the right side to start the bottom of the third and swung on ground ball left Ooh. side. He's got a hustle and got him the five three put up. Goes Bennett to Janung for one away. 
One out back to the top of the order will go to Bryson Knowles. He walked to lead off the bottom of the first inning. Was left stranded at third base. Swing and a miss. Strike one. High fly ball to center field. And Wynn kind of knocking it down and coming in and making the catch. Uh, previous, Loeb. previous batter, Ross Wynn, by the way, was the sixth grader at Kincaid. Here comes Grant. With two outs and the base is empty. He hit one hard, but hit it right to the left fielder in his first at bat. Looks at that pitch down low, ball one. We might see something uh, get blown open right here. It, it, this might be it. You know, pitchers is getting late. They're right. getting a little bit tired, might get <laughs> a little lazy. And uh, Grant's a very disciplined batter. He's a sixth grader at Spring Branch Middle. <laughs> one ball, one strike. Down low and away. Two and one. That was a nice pitch. Nice pitch by Jack Kyle. Left a little high. Counts three and one. Swung on left side. That is a foul ball. And the count full now. Three balls, two strikes. Base is empty here in the bottom half of the third inning. And down low ball four. So another base runner comes up here with two outs, and that'll bring up Scott Sinkowitz, who grounded out to the pitcher back in the first inning. Scott Sinkowitz is a uh, one of the few eighth graders on the Marlins at Spring Branch Middle. There goes the runner off first, and swung on, hit and run, foul back to the screen, strike one. Trying to generate a little offense here. I think Scout's got a uh, pretty high batting average, so we might see uh, we might see our first uh, run potentially yep. on the board here. Hopefully, we need we need some runs on the board. Somebody <laughs> toss over the first runner back. There goes the runner again, and pitching the call strike, throw down a second, not going to be in time. That was a good throw. That was a very Great good throw. Great throw. As Brondio beats it with a stolen base, a runner in scoring position, but no balls and two strikes to Sinkowitz. Runner in scoring position, base hit right here. Could put a run on the board for the Marlins. Brushes him back, up high ball one. One ball, two strikes. We've had runners on third uh, yeah. twice this inning. You know, that doesn't seem to bother these pitchers too much. This guy's got ice, ice running through their veins. That was a tough take right there with two strikes, but the pitch a little low and the count two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Kyle from the stretcher goes the runner off second. Checks a swing. Oh, the wow. Three. They called that. Strike three. Good pitch. So once again, no runs, no hits. One runner left on base. We play three complete. We will go to the four. Still scoreless here in this Juniors Championship game. So coming up here for the Braves in the top of the fourth inning, it'll be the four, five, and six hitters, Janung, Loeb, and Bennett do up. Hey. 
I'm going to confirm that the uh, max pitch is 95. Okay. You know, uh, Marlins, they it, – it's – I don't know if you got to be thinking about the pitch count right now. You know, just get through this first game. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's uh, – you know, a lot of guys are thinking, you know, what pitcher do you throw? What Who do you – who do you pitch? What do we pull them early? Do right. we save them for the second game? There's a lot. There's a lot that goes into into the, what these coaches are thinking. Right. About the pitchers, um, because uh, that's important. Should there be a, a game two? Yeah. Well, I think. If, I mean, I would think if you're the Marlins, you got the game advantage. You go for the kill shot right here. You Absol- keep your ace abs- out there and try to put them away. Absolutely. And uh, and juniors, uh, the it's been confirmed that if you pull your pitcher early you can still put him back in if he does not sit out an inning he still has to stay in the rotation gotcha. so you can put your pitcher i've just found that out this year it's a pretty interesting rule so you can start your starting pitcher right have him play shortstop for a couple innings and then bring, bring him, him back, back in. in yeah yeah as was it janung steps in here to lead off the fourth inning pitch down low ball one but i believe it's a hard 95 Seems like a lot. Yeah, high well, school 110. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. Well, these are, uh, you know, these 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 it's not guys too far away. Yeah. Most of these guys will uh, hopefully be playing in high school. Hope right. to see these guys play, you know, a lot of baseball after this. One and one to Janung. struck out looking to retire the side in the first. Oh, kind of weighed weakly and a pitch down in the dirt in the count one and two. Oh, he wants that pitch back bad, doesn't he? <laughs> he, he? He knew it the second he choked on it. He uh, he wants that pitch back. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, strikeout number 10. I don't think, I've been doing this a long time. I don't think I've ever seen a pitcher strike out the first 10 batters he's faced. I mean, he's, he's let some base runners on, but I mean, all ten outs. Oh, yeah, it's 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 pretty incredible. He's twelve. Yeah. 12. <laughs> 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 Charlie Loeb steps in. <laughs> Showing bunt, bunt do it for strike one. Matt Bennett, the. Uh, Photographer extraordinaire for Post Oak is going to be stepping in front of us here. <laughs> one ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Charlie Loeb is an eighth grader at Kincaid. Another eighth grader on the Braves. One and two for Loeb. Pitch up high ball two. Two and two. Not a bad place to watch a ballpark from, the apartment building across the street over there. Uh, absolutely. Swing and a miss, strike three, strikeout number 11. But uh, nine out of ten of those folks over there watching baseball are going to need a telescope to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As Nick Bennett steps in, he walked in the second. Two outs, base is empty. Pitch up high, ball one. <laughs> yeah. It's a retirement home. <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. They're going to need some big binoculars yeah. to see it. One and one to Bennett. Check the swing. Did he go? Mm. They're going to appeal, and umpire is going to say no. Oh, Two and he one. He did not. 
I tell you what, at some point this game's got to get blown open. Yeah. yeah. These pitchers still look good. Yeah, they do. There's uh, But let, let's just see how long these guys can go. Do one pitch. We're not leaving here until there's some runs on the board. <laughs> this isn't soccer. We're going to have a shootout to, to, to decide it. <laughs> right. I've always enjoyed games, you know. They're like, you know, 13 to 12, right. you know, big blowout games. But, you know, I enjoy the these pitcher duels just as much. It's They just fire that in there for a strike. Yep, the count, count is full. full. These pitcher duels are kind of boring, but they're not. It's, right, right. It's, you know, when your child's up there on the pitcher's mound, 0-0 you know, oh, yeah. zero, zero in the fourth inning, it is, an just kind it is an exciting game for sure. Yeah. We had a couple of 14-inning games to open the playoffs uh, with some of our Austin schools Ooh, last wow. week in the by district round. Swing and a miss, strike three. Let me just point out, too, there hadn't been many pass balls in this game. No, uh-uh. There's been uh, maybe two, two or three total pass balls. Um, I know there's a lot of, uh, you know, minor, minor, major games that, you know, games are won and lost on pass right. balls. Hell, the Astros just uh, two nights ago <laughs> won on a pass ball. Twelve strikeouts <laughs> in the ball game. That's, uh, that's pretty incredible. And we are halfway through this one. See if the Marlins can get some offense going. They'll have their four, five, and six hitters do up here to try to untie a nothing nothing ball game. And I've got Sperandio unofficially at 75 pitches through four innings. Very unofficially. Jack Kyle, 53 through the first three. So they're both about in the same position. Now there'll be Crenshaw, Mira, and Fuqua do up here in the bottom of the fourth inning. So I'm sitting here trying to think of some good color some good bull. I don't know. I, I'm just, I don't know where I need to go with the field, with the players. <laughs> what you're doing is great. Oh, well, thank you. Tell you, what, you know, where they're going <laughs> to school, how old they are. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm doing, you know, pulling it off the app. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, it's good baseball. This is, uh, this is what we expected from this group. You know, Jack Kyle, uh, Grant Sprandio. Right. Um, good to see that these guys are on tonight. You know, when they're right. not on, it, 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 it's it's heartbreaking. That ball hit into the air to center field and hauling it in. Oh, Charlie Lowe right there yeah, under right there. it, man. That guy, he, he, he made an incredible play against the Giants. Uh, he did the exact same thing but picked the guy off going to third to oh, home wow. to, uh, you know, that's why they're still here and the, yeah. and the Giants aren't. So... <laughs> <laughs> As Ryan Mara steps in, popped out to foul out to the first baseman in the second inning. As a uh, as a, a Giants fan, I will say, don't test Charlie Lowe's arm because <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> that one fouled back to the screen for strike one. If they uh, if they do some rotation, put Houston Cruz. That guy's got some long legs, man. He can cover some ground as well. He's he gets under that ball pretty good. This level, you don't see a lot of drop balls in the right. outfield. But to make the play at home from center like that. That's, yeah. It's heartbreaking if you're on the Giants. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, we saw a couple of nice plays in the Pee Wee game. I don't know if you were watching I, the broadcast. I, I, I watched it on Vibe. Yeah. I watched you guys on Vibe. Yes. A couple of runners thrown out at home, hit the relay man. Yeah. And Beautiful. Both and teams. And some, uh, some, some pop flies out as well. Pitch one hops up to the plate. The count one and two. Mira, this guy, this guy can hit right here. I, I've seen him. He is a very disciplined batter. He, 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 he can barrel it up pretty good. We might, we might see our first hit of the game here. <laughs> <laughs> Give everybody something to cheer about, right? What's the umpire? He's, he's going over something here for uh, Jack Kyle. I mentioned that weird little shuffle motion that I saw earlier. I wonder. If 
to keep an eye on that. It's almost like he's getting a running start coming off the mound. I don't know how else to describe it. Huh. Well, after 16 games, you, why would he point it out now? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like a little skip step or something. I well, don't know if that, that's what he's talking about, but that's... Bob, back to the screen, one and two. We'll have to keep an eye on it. You know, that mountain gets a little loose up there when it yeah. dries out. The uh, field crew had it prepped, ready to go at, uh, like, noon today. Right. And, uh, you know, sun was out, and uh, if it dries up, it, yep. it could get a little slippery up there. That pitch over his head, and the count, two and two. And to point it out in the fourth inning, because you, you spotted it out right. in the second inning. In the call, strike three. Wow, that was a great pitch. Just blew it right by him. That's his fourth strikeout. And with two outs, the base is empty. That'll bring up the first baseman, Ben Fuqua, who walked in the second inning. It's, it, I'm going to say Fuqua. Fuqua, okay. Fuqua. <laughs> That's all right. Strike one. Ben Fuqua, youngin. Good ball player right here. Looks at that pitch down low. One ball, one strike to the Marlin first baseman. Swing and a miss and a pitch over his head and the count one and two. Seems Jack's tempo is picking up a little yeah. bit. He is, uh, he's not taking so much time between these pitches anymore. Maybe a little close, a little quick pitch here. Swing and a miss, strike three, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Wow. You kind of get the These are like a couple of running backs in, the, in football. Right, right. One's having right. a great game, the other's trying to match it. These two are going head-to-head. -head yeah, they, they are dueling it out for sure. So all 19 Braves coaches came out to congratulate Jack <laughs> on yet another strikeout. That brings him up to 38 pitches unofficially. These coaches are all volunteers, by the way. These, uh, like I mentioned earlier, they uh, they got girlfriends and, you know, I don't think they have wives. Like, they don't, they, I don't know if they have wives yet, but they have, uh, uh, you know, just graduated. They're they're all thinking about where they're going to go out tonight. Right, right. You know, yeah. this is, this might be kind of the second thing on their mind. Right. But we'll, we'll see. They, uh, they, these guys enjoy this. Most of these coaches out here played in this league. Right. Um, some went, you know, pretty far in playoffs, did did the, uh, you know, all-star stuff. Um, some didn't, but right. it's uh, it's really cool to see them all back out here. Thanks to Suna Vincott, our technical director, getting our Academy Sports and Outdoor banner up here, our Invite Network sponsor for all the ways you love to play. Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Are we throwing out some promos here? One or two. <laughs> All right. This next inning's brought to you <laughs> by. <laughs> that is the one good thing about baseball. There are so many sponsorship opportunities. You oh, got your single sponsor, your home run yeah. sponsor, your first inning brought to you by a sponsor. Right, right. So, you know, we, we got to thank all the Post Oak sponsors for this one. They, they, none of this would be possible without yep. our Post Oak sponsors. Each and every one of them, no, how, no matter how big or how small you donate. So I know there's uh, quite a few people that open up their wallets out here. And it is very much appreciated. This would not be possible. I was telling Mr. O'Neill in the, in the first game, when I played Little League, we had a cap that was sponsored by a seed corn company, and that was our uniform. Yeah. I sound like when you know, had to walk uphill school both ways. Right, right, right. Seven, eight, nine hitters go up here for the Braves. Matthew Brolin will lead it off, swinging a miss, strike one. Speaking of sponsors, uh, for the Braves, we got the Bennett family. And for the Marlins, we have probably sponsored by, God, I can't even read that. You know what? I'm going to have to pull that one up. Borrow my binoculars. No, oh, I'll have to borrow the binoculars. Might as well give a shout out to these folks, there right? There you go, yeah. 0-2 oh, the count to Matthew Brolin. He is 0-1 in the game, like everybody else, a strikeout victim. Molly Reese Ward, CFP. Thank you, Molly. Fish down low, ball one. One ball, two strikes to Brolin. Bennett family and Molly, duly noted. Thank you for your sponsorship. And the Maffridge and Midhall families for sponsoring the uh, junior division. 
Very much appreciated. Pitch up high, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. A three-inning ball game now, effectively. No score, top of the fifth inning. Braves win, trying to force. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brolin's out on strikes, strikeout number 13. I'm going to take a picture of this scorebook when this game is done. This is uh, this is unreal. Both these teams came to play and win, and, uh, you know, they threw their uh, ace pitchers out there, and uh, these ace pitchers are doing their job for sure. Yes, they are. And he pops in, he's stepping in, 0 for 1, struck out in the second inning, looks at the pitch up high ball one. Misses outside, ball two. Swing and a miss. Good velocity. He hasn't lost a. He's got. He's got the velocity for sure. He he, he brings it. Grant can move the ball too. He uh he's got great change ups, curve balls. And uh, the heat, he's still bringing it right over the yep. middle for uh, strike number two. Fell behind in the count, 2-0. and oh, Worked it back to 2-2 two and two to the brave left fielder. Swung on foul. That may have been the best hit ball of the game so far for the Braves. <laughs> two 2-2 -two pitch. Swing. Oh, right got carry. him. Wow, fell behind and got him anyway. It's going to take us to two outs. And Dave Dooley will step in, struck out the lead off the third inning. I think Grant's still out there having fun. He <laughs> is, uh, he, he's, he's smiling ear to ear. He's, how many strikeouts is that for Grant again? That is 14. Total for the game. Total for the game. We've had 14 outs recorded all by strikeout. Wow. Swing and a miss, strike one. All outs recorded by strikeouts. Yep, he's walked two and hit a batter. The only blemishes. I think we can give him that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Just a little high ball one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. One two pitch, swing and a miss. Oh, no, he got a. Oh, he's got a go. third strike. Got a hustle. Throw down to first is in time, and they complete the strikeout. He struck out the side again. Wow. I wasn't so sure if that was a foul tip. That's why I kind of hesitated. Uh, that was uh, that was Pelop. Pelop at bat. Oh, Ben Pelop. Okay, pinch hit. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Here we go. I mean, a different batter, same result. Yeah, I, I, I guess maybe when they, uh, you know, reach these pitch counts and throw in a relief pitcher, we might see some uh, <laughs> see some batting or a little bit of action here, huh? Unreal. I imagine we'd be seeing both these boys pitching in high school. That I would imagine. You've seen a lot of high high school baseball. Yeah. I haven't seen a performance like this all year in high school baseball. Oh, come on now. But we're still scoreless, so if you are the Braves, you're still in the ball game despite this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. turn off the TV just yeah. yet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bottom of the order do up here for the Marlins. Wiley Ward, for McCauley, and Ross Wynn. Jack Kyle not pitching a bad ball game either. So the question is, if these guys, uh, if, if the Braves blow it open, um, and we go to game two, yeah. what's going to happen there? Right. It's going to be a completely different ball game. It will be. Yeah. It will be a completely different go ball game. The Both ace pitchers will not be available. And, uh, you know, it's just that there's great pitchers on both teams. Right. Um, it's just who wants to show up. And 
Pitch down low ball, one to Wiley Ward, who popped out to first base in the second. But like I said earlier, it's you got to get through this game. You yeah. got you to win this game. It's Don't hold your A's pitcher back. Swing and a miss, strike one, one and one. You see that a lot. We're talking about high school. You see that a lot in high school baseball when they go to game three of the playoffs. They've used up their number one and number two, and it's pitcher by committee at that point. Right. See what you're made of, right? Yep. There have been some great pitchers discovered that way. That's right. So uh, this league has intermediates, which the uh, 12s coming into the juniors, we have an intermediate league, which gives all the 12-year-olds opportunities to play positions they wouldn't normally play. Right. Um, and it's a it's a three-team league, and they do a round robin every Saturday. Full count to Wyler Ward. And so we um, throw a lot of guys out there at pitcher right. that might not normally pitch in the juniors. And there's been some uh, quite a few pitchers discovered through that intermediate league. Ward draws a walk here to lead off the fifth inning. Ford McCauley will step in. I'm actually jealous. I never pitched in Little League. I was scheduled. I finally begged the coach and was scheduled to pitch, and I didn't do something. I got grounded for probably the only <laughs> time in my life. My mom wouldn't let me go, so I never got to pitch that night. <laughs> oh, no. But we had a bad storm come through anyway. The game got rained. Oh, no, lucky you, right? I th I'm thinking God was on my side. <laughs> All right, we got a runner on. Yep. Oh, we got, we got a, pinch a pinch runner. A pinch runner here. Pinch runner. We'll get a look at the number here and see who that is coming in. If he'll turn around for us. Oh, number yeah. 21, that is not. That's, that's a Ford McCauley who was due with the bat here. McCauley's got a big lead. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's oh, get a shoot. Double. I off, can't off cuss. That's a, that's a double pick off there. I saw that he McCauley was taking a large yeah. lead. He was, he was. Yep. Uh, McCauley took a large lead, 20, 30 feet off of first. First pitch was a bunt, uh, shagged by Jack Kyle, back to first for the double play. And that was Jack Harper that uh, hit into that double play. I don't know how. I don't know if I skipped the spot here. This should be Ross Wind batting. It's two outs, bases empty. That was that was a that was a tough draw on the Marlins there. Wow, these are binoculars by definition. Yeah, they're but not that great. Yeah, that was Zach Nielsen. Zach Nielsen, St. Francis kid. He's in sixth grade. Great kid. Number five. For the Marlins. Okay, that was a pinch hitter. So he must yep. have been pinch hitting for win in any event the inning is over we're going to go to the sixth inning still scoreless that was a, a very quick turn of events yeah. right there so he struck out I mean is this a uh, is this a sign of like desperation with these teams here I, or what, I, what, yeah, what, what, what do we what do we make of this I, so McCart you know we get a walk on base with a pinch runner first yeah. pitch bunt these guys are ready to put some runs on the board. So we will go to the top half of the sixth inning. Still no score. Top of the order to up. Jack Kyle to lead it off. Grant Sprandio still on the mound. So Ward walked. McCauley came in to run for him. Jack Harper then must have pinched hit for McCauley. And he hit the double play ball. A little pop-up. And then Nielsen struck out. I think that happened that, very fast. That happened very fast, and it was an unusual rotation in the batting order. But Marlins were trying to uh, get trying some runs. They something. were trying to make yeah. something happen to yep. this game. You know, we've seen two runners on third the entire game. Yeah. And they were both Back stranded. The they were both stranded. First inning. And, yes, a fan walked by a moment ago and said, do we have a dual no-hitter going on? Yeah. Yes, we do. Actually. Yes, we do have a dual no-hitter. As we go to the sixth inning, Jack Kyle to lead it off. 0 for 1 with a walk. It, this looks uh, top of the order for yep. the Braves here. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, these guys are so ready to, you know, <laughs> start getting some hits in this game. That was an aggressive swing. Pitch down low, ball one. One ball, one strike. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I believe if we do go to a second game, the Marlins will... It was a swing by Jack. Ball one, strike two. Yep. If we do go to game two, I believe the Marlins will still be the top-seeded team, and uh, the teams will not switch dugouts. Ground ball left side, oh. and... Well, he didn't get the strikeout, but he still gets the out anyway. That was a nice snag by yes. uh, uh, Grant. Get the out. That's the first out of the ball game not recorded by strikeout, but Sperano <laughs> had to be, have a piece of it anyway. Is that the first one, really? That's the first one. We're in the sixth inning. Wow. If this was a timed game, <laughs> we'd be an hour and 20 minutes into this game, sixth inning, uh, where normally we play an hour and 40. Um Oh, boy, looks like a pitcher change, pitcher change here. here. Yeah. Wow. Grant did a phenomenal job yes, out there. Did, and that in. was, uh, looks like uh, wind's coming in. This is going to be wind. So Ross Wynn is shortstop, taking over pitching duties. Espranio, did they swap or did he come out? Yeah, I think they just uh, did a swap. So five and a third innings. Pitched by Grant Spiranio. Struck out 15 batters. Didn't give up any hits. Ross Wynn, he's a sixth grader. Like I said earlier, this is a young Marlins team. He's a sixth grader at Kincaid. And yes, Espranio uh, did move over to, to shortstop, so they did switch spots no runners on base so how would you like to be the guy to take over after somebody has struck out 15 of the 16 outs that he got oh. no pressure you know right? what I, actually i'd rather do that than uh come in and take over the guy that loaded the bases That's with, true. <laughs> with one out very good point <laughs> so you know, hey, hey, base is loaded. We have no outs. We're down by, we're up by one. You're up. Hey, you're, <laughs> can you come in and pitch for us? Yeah. Hey, boss, Thanks, I'm out. Coach. I'm out, boss. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, coach. Yeah, appreciate it. You know, they don't record that in uh, juniors quite like they do in the uh, <laughs> majors, like the Major League Baseball. Right. You know, you, you didn't earn any of these runs. It's, it's, it's a W or not. Right. So. So it'll be Warren Dooley stepping in with one out, bases empty here in the top of the sixth inning. Yeah, there's no ERA in uh, juniors. Right. So. Outfield remains the same. McCauley, Mira, and Ward. Sinkowitz still at third. Grant Speriano moves to shortstop. Noel still at second. And Fuquay, Fuquay, the first baseman. Crenshaw behind the plate. And Ross Wynn, the starting shortstop, taking over pitching duties. That's Grant Sperandio. Sperandio. Is there a D? Uh, I left the D off my name when I wrote it here. <laughs> Sporandia. Oh, you were no, you're looking I at your wrong, wrong cheat sheet there. Warren Dooley, this boy, uh, like I said earlier, he can he can hit the ball. Is this Warren or Dave? This is Warren. Warren, uh, Warren is he's a dangerous threat right here. Okay. We might we might see our first base hit of the game. Osby misses down low ball one. 0 for 1, struck out of the first hit by a pitch in the third. These guys have gone six innings with no hits. They're they're hungry. They want to swing the bat. They're ready. Swing the bat and hit the ball. Catches the outside corner for a strike. One ball, one strike. Wow. Fires one in there. One one pitch. <laughs> Ooh, Osby that boy! Was, talk about a different looking. Curve. That was a nasty yeah. looking curveball in there. Sparandio just throwing this heat. That thing comes in there about twenty five miles he, an hour. That the the Ephus pitch. Yeah, got the job done. One ball, two strikes. It froze him. He's gonna do it again. Oh, popped up, drifting back, and that's gonna drop in there for a base hit. There's our first base hit. Like I told you. Yep. Very disciplined batting with the uh, the Braves. They just, they just they just make it happen. First hit of the ball game didn't crush it off the ivy, but he got it to drop where nobody was, and that'll bring up Houston Cruz. Yeah, 
And then for call strike one, Cruz over two, struck out twice. So our uh, so Marlins are the uh, home team. So right. the Braves, you you suspect there might be a pitcher change in the uh, in so. the next inning. Sixty-seven pitches for Kyle through five innings. So he was a little bit fewer pitches because he didn't have many strikeouts. So. You might let him go one well, more inning. I was trying to get confirmation from my commish on the uh, 95 to 95 pitches. We're getting some uh, some waves from our coaches on the Marlins team. Appears Houston Cruz might like to pull it. Well, I had Sprondio at 89 coming into that inning, so he was definitely over 95. Ah, uh, okay, all right, all right. That would that would be me. why I was right. There goes the runner off of first. Ooh, and a first. call strike, throw down a second. Not going to be in time. Stolen base. That was another Ephus pitch in yeah. there for a strike. The count 0 and 2, but because it took forever to get there, Dooley able to steal second base and runner in scoring position with the one away. No balls, two strikes at Houston Cruz. All right, now we're seeing some action. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of a uh, really good pitching. <laughs> Might get the crowd engaged a little bit more here That's now, right? You know, everybody's it, that, sitting on their hands waiting for something to happen. That minors was uh, that was some good stuff. That there goes again. Nope, he held up and swing oh. strike three. They got him hung up, but he wow. gets back and it's a strikeout for nice, a win. Nice heads up play by Crenshaw yep. to uh, hold Dooley over there on second. So two outs runner at second for Wesley Janone, who is 0 for 2 in the ball game. That's always a scary move no matter what league you're in. Throwing yeah. the third, you know. There he goes. Oh, They're the throw down deepest the third pitch. Oh. I think he would have had a beat. The throw was a little bit up the third base side, but he had a pretty good jump, and it's a stolen base for Dooley. Back-to-back -back steals has a go-ahead runner at third base with two away. No balls, one strike to Janone. I tell you what, wynn has got a pretty nasty curveball going in there. It's uh, that ball's moving a lot from our from our perspective. Oh, one pitch, swing and a miss, oh. right two gets away. They got to play at the plate. They don't, and it's one to nothing Braves. Pitch just ate up Crenshaw. Tried to keep it in front of him, but it had a lot of English on it. Bounced away, and the Braves are off first blood. Braves strike first. But like I said, hey, things can go change. It's uh, right. you know, we might have a pitcher change in the uh, for the Braves in the next inning. It's top foul, the count 0-2. This is Janung, left lefty, nobody on. O2 pitch. Swung on, good cut. Follow back to the great screen. Great cut. Oh, went two. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know how you take that with two strikes. <laughs> that was tough. Like I said, he's got a lot of English on that pitch. <laughs> One and two the count. Now low two and two. You know, I've, 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 uh, I've watched a lot of baseball games out here before. Uh -huh. um, mostly from the uh, tower or the stands. Um, I will have to say this is a great vantage point. It right actually here. is, yeah. I, I've never watched a game out here. Oh Ooh, boy, oh boy. And oh, he likes that pitch, doesn't he? Marlins are ready to come off the field. The umpire says no, it's not a democracy, and the count is three and two. Yeah, this vantage point right down the first baseline is nice. Um you get a breeze. In the call strike three, he got him. Ooh, finally, what. the payoff pitch right yeah. there, huh? I mean, when came in, he struck out two of the three guys that he faced. The one that got him board just blooped the little single. It's not like they well, smacked the ball over the ballpark out. No, him. no, no. It's it's um, 
It's been a very technical baseball. Yeah. It's a very technical baseball. They they scored a run on a pass ball, unfortunately, for the Braves or uh, for the Marlins. Unfortunately for the Marlins. Um, but you know they're the home team. Yep. A lot can happen. Yeah, they've got six outs left to work with as they go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. You yes, score they do. one to nothing. Braves on top. I am Merle Bircher, and he is Michael Heron. Gentry Williams, our producer. Keeping him busy with the two cameras and the scoreboard. And he's, the, the, he's the hardest working guy out he, here. He's huh? going to have to take an ice bath. <laughs> <laughs> <home and> <laughs> yeah. Sledgehammer to the equipment in the first game to get it to work. <laughs> Did you do the Pee Wee game? Yep. I was texting Shane going, hey, I, I wasn't trying to, like, rouse him, but I said, hey, the screen just went out. Yeah. You know, just so you didn't get a bunch of texts. But, uh, you know, it is uh, all, it is all, uh, you know, Wi-Fi, aerial, yeah. audio. It's it, There There are a lot of technical difficulties that happen. Now, the sun was blaring down in the first game, and the first inning, the computer actually just shut down. It got overheated. So that, that's what he said. Blinked I, off, yeah. Said just, just throw water on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That works really well. <laughs> well, the yeah. first time I texted him, it, uh, it just went blank. Yeah. And I was like, hey, hey, uh, quick! You know, I was watching the game, and uh, everything went dark. Yep. And he, uh, he goes, oh, somebody kicked the plug. I went, rebooting now. <laughs> yeah. So. It happens. It happens. This is uh, this is not you know rocket science. This is uh, little league baseball <laughs> here, guys. <laughs> so if you lose feed, don't freak out. <laughs> You're lucky to we're, we're post yeah. very lucky to have this. Yeah. You know yeah. that we can afford this luxury, and uh, um, you know uh, thank you to uh, Vipe Video for this one as well. It's uh, incredible. We're happy to come out and do it, that's for sure. Extends Hello. our baseball season a little bit. Yeah. I think we need to do it for all the playoff games. Yep. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> At least the semis. This looks like uh, Bryson Knowles in there looking to get things started for the Marlins. Takes ball one. Yep. Uh, it is Knowles back to the top of the order. One, two, and three hitters. And that's enough for a strike. One ball, one strike. Jack Kyle still on the mound. Yeah. They're going to just uh, take them as long as they can. Why not, right? Well, especially when they got the lead, yeah. That's in the first strike, one and two. He uh he he looks he he looks the same as he did in the first yes. inning right now. He's he is firing them in there. Has not lost his stride whatsoever. Bryson fouls one off. Well the ballpark hold it and nice play by the catcher coming back to make the play. That yep. was Ward Dooley. Dooley. Yep. For out number one. Not an easy play to make. At this point, if you're the uh, Marlins, you got to think about getting that pitch count up. Yeah. You know, foul a bunch of balls off, take some balls, um, take some strikes. Uh, that's what's got to be going through your head if you're a uh, Marlins coach right now. Problem is, you got a ways to go, but my count, that's only about pitch 72. Well, you know, they add up. Foul yeah, them off, right? Yeah. If he's throwing strikes, you just, you just lay it out there and foul it off. Swinging on 3-0, and sky high fly ball to deep center, but. Charlie Lowe there right again. there to get it, the gobbler. Second time, Sparandio is <laughs> blowing out to the outfield. Two outs, bases empty for Scott, uh, Scout Sink Sinkowitz. I think uh, Grant's probably had two of the biggest hits we've yeah. seen in this game, um, all gobbled up by Charlie Lowe. So two outs, bases empty. Sinkowitz 0 for 2, grounded out to the pitcher, struck out looking in the third. Pitch in there, call strike one. Scout Sinkowitz, he's a big hitter. He's uh he's a big boy. He's in eighth grade. He's uh he's gonna blow this game open right here. That pitch one hops back to the screen. One on one. One nothing Braves trying to force a deciding game. Jack Kyle has not lost much velocity no, whatsoever. Hasn't. It's it's not humid out here, so they these boys are still able to get you know, pretty good grip on that ball. He just blows one right by Scout for strike number two. One ball, two strikes. Check the swing. Did Ooh, he go? Ooh, that was a nice pitch. That was a nice pitch. Just a little low. Good, good take. Two and two to count. 
You know, two outs. You can still do damage with two outs. Yeah. Top of the order here. That oh. ball hit hard to left center field. That is going to get down and get to the cutoff by the center field. They're a long, loud right. single for Sinkowitz. Thought it was going to get to the gap, but they got to it quickly out there. Charlie Loeb covered a lot of green in there to uh, keep that ball from hitting the uh, wall. And that's the first hit of the ball game for the Marlins. That that's that's the second hit of the game. Yep, second hit of the game. Yep, one for each team. That was a, that was a great hit. Charlie Loeb, he played that position very well. He 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 read that pitch and read that uh read that ball. It's Crenshaw pop up behind the plate, giving chases duly, but it gets out of play in the count 0 and 1. That may have been the hardest hit ball of the game. So that was far. a very hard hit ball. Charlie, uh, I, I, great job scooping that ball up. That could have been an easily a double, maybe a triple. Yep. So do you steal here? Scout's got a pretty good lead. Ooh. Yeah, they were keeping an eye on him too. Gets back yeah. in there. I'd say with one out, no, but with two outs and a one-run ball game, you're in the sixth inning. Give it a shot. Force the defense to make a play. Well, you know you're at the, you're it's still at the top of your order here. True. Um, you know, one or two base hits. Um, we might not see it, but Jack might be getting a little tired after there 80 goes. pitches. There he goes. And catcher dropped the ball in the transfer. I think he had a pretty good jump there anyway. So you got a runner in scoring position now. Uh, Crenshaw, great hitter. Um, base hit, ties it up. Yes, it does. One ball, one strike. Chopper left side. Going to be a tough play to throw to first. Oh! Collision. They get him. Nice play. That was a little collision there that at was. first. Uh, Crenshaw went down. Pound of the uh, turf and frustration. Well, I think he's still in a little bit of pain. Yeah, he took a shot, Judge, hustling down the line. That was a great scoop by the uh, shortstop. Who was that? That was uh, that was uh, Houston Cruz. That was Cruz. He, char he charged that ball. He Had he not charged that ball, that would have been a base hit. Yeah, yeah. And from this angle, I couldn't even tell for sure if it was a shortstop or the second baseman, so I'm glad you were able to identify Cruz. That was, uh, well, there's there's about uh, two feet in height <laughs> <Yeah>. difference. <laughs> that was uh, that was Houston Cruz. That was a great job charging that ball to get that out at first. So no runs, one hit, no errors, run one to left on base. First hit of the ball game, but no runs. So we'll go to the sixth in or seventh inning. We're gonna go to the top of the seventh, yeah. One nothing ball game. Two, three, four. Not as many strikeouts in that uh, no. in that inning, huh? <laughs> Not the first inning we've had that we haven't had any strikeouts? I think it is. And I've got him up at the 80 pitches so far, talking about Jack Kyle. So he can easily come out and pitch the ninth, or at least get it started. Or the seventh, I mean. For the Braves, it'll be five, six, and seven hitters due up here as they try to get some insurance on a one nothing ball game. Well, I think things are about to get really interesting. Think so? Yeah. Your prediction? Uh, my prediction. Reminder coming up in 20 minutes. It'll be the Majors Championship game number one, Pirates and the Astros. You can find that link as well on Vibe.com. Heck, you can call both ball games at once. That's what picture in picture is for. Starting to cool off a little bit. It's the sunset getting close to setting. And Charlie Loeb will lead it off. A couple of nice defensive plays. Offensively 0 for 2, but get, getting his first look here at Ross Wynn. All speed drops in there for call strike one. Shows bunt and puts it down on the third base side. That is going to be a base hit. Got it down beautifully, but nobody could get to it. And it's a leadoff bunt single for Loeb. And that will bring up Nick Bennett.
Toss over to first runner back. Inside. 1 0 to Bennett. 0 for 1, struck out of the fourth, walked in the second. Pitch in the dirt, and the count was up. Or check that goes to 2 and 0. Two balls, no strikes to Bennett. Swing and a miss, strike one. Low bunt single. Bunt single. Bunt. Wow. Two balls, one strike to Nick Bennett. <laughs> Foul, back to the screen, two and two. Seventh inning, still a lot of baseball. Oh, yeah. Ducks underneath that one, and the count goes full here to Bennett. Five, six, and seven hitters do up for the Marlins in the seventh. They're hoping to get there down by one. The Braves trying to punch another run or two home here. Three, two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three for out number one. Charlie didn't look like he was, uh, you know, making an effort to steal there. No. He had a pretty good lead, but he uh, he bounced back to first. We'll As see if they try to put Charlie in a scoring position here. As Matthew Brolin steps in and swinging a miss, strike one. They are not testing Crenshaw's arm no. there. One out, one aboard. Swing and a miss, strike two. May have gotten a piece of that one. O2 pitch. Oh, beautiful off the oh. pitch and the crab throws him. That's that uh, that nasty curve he's been throwing all day, yep. huh? That's a four strikeout for Ross Wynn. <laughs> Payoff pitch. <laughs> Getting a lot of uh, hooting and hollering out here from the <laughs> crowd. That, that was a nasty pitch. <laughs> Daddy pods in and he steps in and swinging a miss strike mm -hmm. one. Nats are coming out. In there for a strike. Wynn might be recognizing he might be uh, at the bottom of the order here and yeah. uh, just uh, play a little more conservative than he normally would. No balls, two strikes. That was In there nice for a strike. Three. He struck out the side. <laughs> okay, and here's a stat you don't see very yeah. often. Between yeah. these two pitchers, 21 outs, 20 by strikeouts. 20 of the 21 outs. That's that's impressive. You know, I, yeah. I've, I've seen a lot of baseball out here, and I have not seen that all year. And the only other out was ground, the ground out to the pitcher. So there's there's been uh, the infielders have uh, not been very busy today, no, they, have they? they? they, they uh, Houston the Cruz, Houston Cruz. I can pinpoint Houston Cruz has the only uh, ground out of the game. Yeah. Yep. At shortstop for the Braves. There's been some flyouts of Charlie Loeb and uh, Houston Cruz, and that's about it. Third, that's if you're it, yeah. you're sitting at third and second, you've uh you've been pretty uh, <laughs> bored tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so here we'll go to the bottom of the seventh inning in a one nothing ball game. Marlins need one run to force extra innings, two runs to win the championship. So where are we in the order? We are five, six, and seven here. Does it be Mara? Fuque and Wiley Ward do up. Uh, that's not to say these guys can't do some damage, but uh, Jack Kyle still is on the mound. Yes, he is. And I have him at unofficially 80 pitches coming into this inning. So you, uh, as a Marlins coach, you got to really think about, hey, guys, foul some of these balls off. Uh, 
you know, if it's close, you know, take a rip. But you, you got to really be conservative. Let's yep. get this pitch count up. Mayra steps in, 0 for 2, popped out to first and struck out looking in the fourth inning. The Marlins do look nervous, but, uh, you know, there is a game two should the yeah. Braves win. They've so it, it, this is not game over for the Marlins. Right. Um, if, the, uh, if, if Jack uh, gets through this inning, Mira's a big bat. He can, uh, he can do some damage. Had a cut, follows it back to the screen, strike one. I mean, you get the feeling if he can get on board of maybe an extra base hit or something, that really puts the pressure on the Braves. You just need one run. You just need one run. A walk would change change things. And a call strike two. Jack hasn't had many walks tonight. No, he has not. He's only walked. He's walked four. But none has reached further than third. That's correct. And he's ahead of the count 0-2 here to Mira. Foul back to the screen to hang alive. That's a big bat. Like I said, foul them off if That's they're right. close. If you don't like it, just foul it off. Jack has not thrown many balls, uh, very few pass balls. 0-2 pitch. Fouled it off again. There. I remember reading a book when I was a kid, The Boy Who Batted a Thousand. That's <laughs> yeah. what it was about. A kid perfected to foul it off until he could get a walk. All right. It starts to get old after a while. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> 0-2 the count. Mira's got about three fouls over into the peewee field. Mm -hmm. Square one up. Could be change the game. Fouled another one off. And he's, these aren't cheap hacks either. Yeah. Like he's, he's getting a rip up there. Yep. Those are batting practice wings. I guarantee he's being told to stay on top of the ball. All the Marlins in the dugout cheering on Mira. Up high, and the count one and two. Ooh. A lot of discipline to foul yeah. off four in a row and then watch that high ball come in. You, you, you get in that groove, and you think that next one's still going to be down the middle. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him. Oh, we got a foul tip. Got just enough of it to hang alive. I don't think uh, the brace coach agreed that he got a piece of it. We're taking a look. We didn't hear it from where our perspective, no. but. Did you see it right there, that little slide step? I, I did not. I was watching Mira. <laughs> now two and two. I don't know how else to describe it. It's, it's, it doesn't do it all the time either. Down low, ball three. Mira has worked the count full to fall behind. 0-2 did exactly what Michael suggested. Just fouled it off. So he, he, this is a nine pitch, ten yeah. pitch uh, at bat right, right here. here. This is a great at bat. Oh, and there it, it goes. It for a walk. Tying runs aboard. There it goes. That's uh, that was a great at bat. He did exactly what he yep. needed to do. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a nine pitch at bat. That'll bring up Ben Fuque. And this might be the last batter that Jack Kyle can face because of that at bat. That's how you work a pitcher right yep. there. That's in there for a strike, strike one. That was a good pitch. That might have been a take call though, yeah. you know, for sure. He, ben did not look like he was gonna swing at that ball regardless. There goes the runner, hit oh, in the air left field. That ball is going to be over the head. Oh, Ronning second, heading for third is Mira. We They're going to wave him around. Ronning second and heading for third is Fuque. And it is going to be a tie ball game on the triple to center field for Ben Fuque. Wow, well, that ball went into the, the dugout, and that's going to be it. That's, that's it. The ball game. Ball game. Ben Fuque with the wow. walk off. Ben Fuqua with the walk off. They send the ball into the dugout. What and a ben way to was finish. at third. He gets the automatic.
Faze takes it to two a, a two to one game. Ben Fuquay. Ben Fuquay. Here's to you, buddy. That was in. That was the best hit of the game. It was. By all means, that was a shot to left, a two hopper to the fence for the game. Got it over Loeb's head. Wait. Who thought he jumped for it? Just went they, over his head. And Mira it, had to hold in case that ball was caught. It, absolutely. And uh, and you know he rounded. He he. That was that was incredible. So you know, well deserved by the Marlins. Yep. It was just. It, it came down the exactly one hit. And you said it's going to happen fast. It can't happen any faster. Uh, than that. It came down to one hit. Uh, walk off by Ben Fuquay. Makes it two to one. Marlins. That's all she wrote. All set up by the great at bat for my, Ryan Mira after falling behind in the count 0 2 to even get on board. Right. To be in that position. And you know, you hate to see that for the I pitchers. Know. The pitchers, uh, you know, hats off to Jack Kyle. He pitched a fantastic oh, game. Um, it, it just one swing of the bat changed everything. One swing of the bat. One swing of the bat. And it came at the perfect time. Two to one. Marlins get the win. They are the 2021 Juniors League champion. And we've had three games so far here today in Championship Saturday. All one run ball. One games. run. Two walk offs. Two walk offs. Yes, exactly. On the minors. It yep. was a walk off down the first baseline. Well, the Braves fought hard. They uh, they had a long, hard battle through that loser bracket. Um, but the Marlins, wow, well deserved. <laughs> that was uh that was incredible. Boy, you, hard, you hit the, breaks your heart for the Braves. They, they played their guts out. But 2-1, Marlins get the win. And uh, we got done five minutes before the start of the Majors game, as if we mm. planned this or something. <laughs> well, Michael, any final thoughts here before we sign out? Uh, no, there's uh, I have no final words. That was, uh, that was uh, a, 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 I, I would honestly have to say, that was a pretty boring game for five innings. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I find the pitcher games pretty boring. But, uh, you know, that. You know it's going to break out yep. in an open fashion like that, and uh, that's worth the wait right there. Yeah, it was indeed. I, I'm assuming they're going to do an award ceremony at some point. There's absolutely an award ceremony. I imagine the uh, commissioners are lining that up right now. Um, but, uh, wow, what a 2021 season. I mean. Well, we'll sign out. We'll let you stick around. We'll keep the video up so you can watch the award ceremony, but we're going to sign out in terms of the audio portion. And uh, if you want to stick around for the award ceremony, you are welcome to. Otherwise, head back to Vibe.com. The Majors game getting underway probably about right now. And, again, this game will be posted on replay, if not late tonight, then by tomorrow. I am Merle Bertrand. He is Micah Heron. Jetra Williams, our producer. Thank you to our camera operators. Nathan Union is our QA. We'll keep the stream up, but we'll sign out for now. 2-1 to one, Marlins with the win. They are the 2021 Juniors Division champion over the Braves. We'll see you in the Majors game here in just a minute.
they grew up hey, in the 90s and they were that great shit again. <laughs> hey, friends, good job, boys. Wait, your heart's out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. They need to hear. Back in the day, they'd be like, yeah. Bravo. Yeah, they'd be like, that was a pretty wild finish. How about that, that bullshit news? Wow. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh. Those outer green rule applications I got, that'd be how you could score. Get the base. Well, guess yeah. what? If that was covered, they wouldn't even. Have been